Wagwan, my people, we are back in the cave. It's the X Cave. And this show focuses on topics that are hot on the lips of our young people and presents it in an open, honest conversation. In other words, there are no liars on our show. We come here with the truth. We come here to present everything raw, unfiltered. You are all welcome to share your thoughts and even suggest topics via our social media handles at MX24GH for discussions in our coming episodes. So stay glued to the television for the hottest show on TV. My name is Kevoy Burton. It's your favorite Jamaican boy. And today we are talking about toxic masculinity. That's a big topic on the lips of everyone right now. So toxic masculinity is defined as a set of attitudes and ways of behaving stereotypically associated with or expected of men, regarded as having a negative impact on men and on society as a whole. So what does toxic masculinity mean to you? Who does it affect? How do we combat it? How do we identify it? We discuss that and more in today's episode of my cave the x cave remember to use the hashtag x cave to join in our conversations and we have guests who will join us right after this All right, so we're back with our guests on the show. I told you we are not alone, and we have some really bright people to drive the conversation forward, and they're here today. And let's start with my far left. Hi, guys. My name is Jerome LeBron. Um, a bit about me. I'm from Trinidad and Tobago, so not far. <laughs> um, and in Ghana, why am I here? I was asked. Um, I'm the country director for an organization that deals with kids. There we go. Yeah, there, there we, we go. go. Yeah, I'm Natasha Norte, and I love sports. I love cooking. Yeah, I'm quite adventurous. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Yeah, and I am uh, Joseph Obu Jr., but you can address me as Kobe. Um, I'm also into music, and I love, you know, to um, <coughs> take adventure a lot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I'm Kevoy, and I'm the host. I'm pretty sure you guys know me by now. I'm from Jamaica. You know the Schweppes. I live here now, and we are going to start in my cave, the X cave. So, guys, today we are talking about toxic masculinity. Yeah. Do you guys know what that is? Of course you do. <laughs> we'll find out. <laughs> of course you know what toxic masculinity is. The first thing I want to know is what does it mean to you? What is toxic masculinity to you? Um... I find especially recently, um, toxic masculinity isn't a thing, but it's a trend of mm -hmm. um, things. It's not just one thing. So mm -hmm. um, men feeling the need to show that they are men, mm -hmm. that I am more than um, what you may see. Mm -hmm. I'm more than what you see. I'm much more than what you get. Um, and them forcing, well, us technically, mm -hmm. um, us forcing that masculinity, that male ego, that... I am the man mm -hmm. on everyone else, regardless of how that makes them feel. All right. So you said you said it's men, you know, trying to be men. What do what what is a man? That's a good question, and that's mm -hmm. exactly where the toxic masculinity comes mm -hmm. in. Um, what makes a man is generally formed and shaped by the society, mm -hmm. and depending on the society and the culture that you go to, it changes. But for Ghana, for example, the man is the head of the home. The mm -hmm. man is. Um, quote unquote the breadwinner, mm -hmm. the man is the one who takes full control. Mm -hmm. The biblical man is what's followed um, in, within the Ghanaian culture, mm -hmm. that this is the man who's the head of the home. Mm -hmm. He is the, and when you hear the father figure thing, when you hear, oh, my dad is coming, or, um, oh, my husband will be here soon, hold up, let's wait for him, something like that. <laughs> then you know that, oh, this is somebody, a dignitary like <laughs> figure comes. Mm -hmm. So um, something where you're put in such a pedestal mm -hmm. that, um, you're put on just because you're a man, mm -hmm. not by merit, mm -hmm. not by any characteristic, mm -hmm. just because you were born male. So. All right. I want to hear Natasha. We're coming back to a yeah. lot of things that you said. <laughs> so we're coming to you, Natasha. Tell me, what do you think is mo uh, toxic masculinity? So, yes, just like Jerome mm -hmm. mentioned, mm -hmm. um, it's what is expected of the 
male figure to mm -hmm. act in society. Mm -hmm. For example, um, men do not cry. Mm -hmm. You see, they put that in growing up men right from childhood. So mm -hmm. even when you are hurt, mm -hmm. you witness children playing outside, you mm -hmm. are hurt and then mm -hmm. the boy should cry. You see all others teasing, oh, look at him, he's crying, he's such a girl. It's, <laughs> it's just basically about society, what they think of men, how they should behave mm -hmm. and some traits they should have mm -hmm. if you want to be called a man. You should have some traits. All right. Again, we're going yeah. to stick some pins and we're going to come back to you. All right. Let's hear from you, Kobe. Okay. Um, I, for one, would want to break the wording. Okay. Mm -hmm. Take toxic. Mm -hmm. Then I'll also look at masculinity as a whole. Mm -hmm. Now, um, as we all know, mm -hmm. when we talk of something being toxic, it's something which is harmful mm -hmm. or unpleasant. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then masculinity as um, how do you call it, the qualities or attributes, you mm -hmm. know, that is regarded, okay, in terms of characteristics mm -hmm. pertaining to men, okay? Mm -hmm. So when you put this together, you realize that you are, you are, you are, you are looking at, um, how do you call it, the harmful mm -hmm. uh, traits in the, mm -hmm. or characteristics that pertain to men. Mm -hmm. You get it? Yes. Yeah, so, so, example, example. Give me an example of characteristics that pertain to men. Okay, so, um, for instance, mm -hmm. The way a man could be aggressive, uh -huh. okay, could also. Um, um, so aggressiveness if, if, is associated with men, then. Uh, not all men, uh -huh. but <laughs> generally, uh -huh. you know, because I I doubt any man would want to sit out there for his fellow man to maybe cheat him or something. You get cheat it? him? So, yeah. Mm -hmm. So naturally, mm -hmm. if I should if I should sit and watch Jerome. Cheat me. Maybe we have to share something. And oh, you're gonna have you know to explain mean? what cheat, cheat, cheating you means. Remember, I'm from a oh. different, um, <laughs> a different uh, culture. So you're gonna have to explain. To but then, irrespective of our culture, I, I think it cuts across. You know. <laughs> oh no, 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 not at all. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Please explain to me. Unless, unless you tell me this is the first time you are coming into, <laughs> into no, contact. Oh, no, just go ahead. All right. So yeah. Yeah. yeah um, so like I was saying, um, maybe you 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 um, give us money to share mm -hmm. right now. Okay. Mm -hmm. And instead of um, sharing it, you know, evenly with Jerome, I decided to take a lion's share. Okay. Uh -huh. And, uh -huh. you know, give him uh, gotcha. what's left. Gotcha. I gotcha. understand. Yes. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. I'm sure, naturally, his response towards that would be some sort of, you know, um, aggressive, um, how do you call it? Aggressive reaction. Or yes, to towards yeah, yeah. me. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yes. And so that's what I'm saying. That, that could also be a treat in terms of the toxic masculinity. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. All right. So... So you guys, you guys mentioned some things earlier. You guys keep saying things like, oh, masculinity, and it refers to masculinity. And, but what is masculinity? What is it? Natasha, I want you to, to, to answer this one as a, as a female. I want you to tell me what you think a, a male or a masculine person is. Usually the ideal women, mm -hmm. thick, tall, they, they look at their physics. <laughs> yeah, mas you are masculine, you know, you have the broad chest. No, How no, tall are you guys? Yes. Yes. How tall are you guys? How tall are you? <laughs> Five, seven. <laughs> Five seven. Five seven. You see that? Yeah, I think well, I just, uh, about the same. You see no, you see no. You see you've out these guys so as masculine men. Is your <laughs> man. No, <laughs> not my <laughs> personality, but okay. uh -huh. I'm just saying uh -huh. you throw that question to mm -hmm. any lady, they'll tell you be masculine, you know, you've mm -hmm. got the biceps, you've got the broad chest, you are yes, that's how they'll take it. And um they see you as a protective figure when you have that physics. Mm -hmm. You go out with a lady and she'll be like in case something should happen right now, mm -hmm. that masculine aspect of my guy will come out and he will but, show But a short mask. guy can do that too. <laughs> no, is I, it, I have no is idea. It, the thing is, and then you, you've described physical characteristics. Yes, yes. I want you to describe what you think mentally, what a man is mentally. Mentally too. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, protective, mm -hmm. um, a bit controlling, yeah. Ooh. Yeah, ooh, some women ooh, like I, men who are in ooh, control. I like where this conversation is going already. <laughs> they like it when men are in control. Oh, you do like it when men are in control. So far, I have been in control. So, so far, you have been in control. I'm, I'm not sure what's going on here. <laughs> yeah, so, uh -huh. yes, to, to experience a man in control, mm -hmm. um, it's a plus, you know. All right, all yeah. right. Jerome, yeah. I, see, I see you have some indifferent yeah. looks on your face. <laughs> no, so I want you to yeah. tell me what you think about what she said. Yeah, um, yeah. so basically what sociologists say is mm -hmm. that so, uh, masculinity itself is defined by the individual. Mm -hmm. And then a lot of times, again, within societies, individuals aren't allowed to create their own version of what I believe 
me as a man should mm -hmm. look like. Mm -hmm. So masculinity changes from place to place. Mm -hmm. In Trinidad, it's different from in Jamaica. Ooh, oh, they, oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> it and, is toxic. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad you called that out. <laughs> no. Um, and then it's different here in Ghana and things like that. Mm -hmm. But masculinity itself um, deals with the traits that you exhibit to show that you're a man mm -hmm. and how you are different from a woman. Mm -hmm. um, where the toxicity comes in is how you use that. Mm -hmm. So whether or not you use it for the positive or for the negative, for um, self-gratification mm -hmm. or for the good of everyone else. Mm -hmm. um, but from your point of view, I definitely realize why you would say that many people describe it that way. Because everybody has a different explanation mm -hmm. as to what a man is based on True. who they see, a father, fi a father figure, mm -hmm. um, who they want in a husband, in a boyfriend, things like that. Um, so at the end of the day, it, the spectrum is there and it goes along the spectrum. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But it basically is um, the traits that makes a man a man at the end of the day. I want you to counter what she said. She said a man is tall, controlling, all of these things. Are you that type of person? Well, obviously you're not tall, oh. but... <laughs> oh, well, um, maybe from her description, mm -hmm. yes, I wouldn't be her definition of who a man is. Mm -hmm. But then I, will, I, I honestly want to put it to her that that isn't, that isn't it, okay? Mm -hmm. The fact that maybe someone hasn't met your... Um, criteria. Criteria, mm -hmm. okay, mm -hmm. or the looks, what you look out for in a man doesn't mean he isn't a man, I mm -hmm. understand. Mm -hmm. So, um, like Jerome rightly said, mm -hmm. And it, it, it depends on the individual, mm -hmm. what you define, what your definition mm -hmm. for a man is, mm -hmm. I understand, because fine, that is her taste or preference, but mm -hmm. to some other lady no, 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 out no, there... that's not my taste. No, 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 you said. No, no, but <laughs> no, my taste, I'm saying if it's thrown to most ladies out there mm -hmm. to describe... You but know, we threw masculine. it to you, Natasha, we didn't throw it to most <laughs> ladies out okay. there. We okay. threw it to you. What do you think? a male or a masculine person is? Yeah, you, you Natasha, to... please. Now back to me, yes, to me personally. yes. yes. Um, one who reasons. One who reasons. Yeah, understanding. That's very simple, eh? Yeah. <laughs> you would think so. You would think so. You would think so. One who reasons, uh -huh. you know, uh -huh. understanding and is open to learn, mm -hmm. grow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's, you felt like you were on the spot just now, eh? It's, it no, felt yes. like the spotlight was shining on yes. you. Yes. But yeah. um, but you say so. Wouldn't you say that women contribute a lot to toxic masculinity in society? Women. Mm -hmm. You know what you just <laughs> said. Yeah, remember? You, know, you just said earlier. You said uh, most women will see it as tall, this, that, yada, yada. Yes. So wouldn't you say that women contribute to toxic masculinity as well? Yes, to some extent. To some extent. Tell me the extent. Tell me the sum of the extent that they that they um. Okay. Yes. <laughs> um, I believe anyone watching this program is above 18. <laughs> uh -huh. So, um, for example, mm -hmm. um, from stories heard and people sharing their experience mm -hmm. in court, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, the aspect of sexuality mm -hmm. and um, they compare, you know, mm -hmm. being a man, mm -hmm. you should last up to this amount of time and stuff. <laughs> yes. In bed? Yes. Oh, no, I don't have time for that. Okay. I so last how long I last. <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> it is Take what it, it is. is. Take it all yes. So, mm -hmm. yes, I'm speaking from that aspect, Go ahead. Yeah, from, I, I, you know, I'm people's experience. Around. So, um, it contributes, you know, mm -hmm. when you get involved with a man and mm -hmm. he knows your preference, this mm -hmm. is what you're looking out for. Mm -hmm. And maybe he doesn't match up, but because of the love he has for you, he wants to prove something to you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Whatever it takes, mm -hmm. he would want to you know please you if it's taking drugs some drugs to you know put it into your face yes i'm being serious here <laughs> we all just looked away <laughs> like, okay she took she took what it kind of drugs are you, ta are you talking about I sexual enhancement drugs yes that's the type of drugs you're yes. talking about yes okay. just to prove to you you know they can match up they are men <laughs> but, it's but what would you say can he <laughs> can he keep that up forever can he continue taking these sexual enhancement drugs that's, that's forever? Because if it is that he's going to take these sexual enhancement drugs to get to you, how is it that he will that he will maintain this thing? I do not know. <laughs> <laughs> you don't I do not know. Yeah, right. but that's one aspect. Uh -huh. All right, Jerome. Yes, yes. Tell me, yes. do you think women contribute? Because li listening to Natasha right yeah. here, and Natasha, Natasha was yeah. explaining what most women want. Yeah. Do you think women 
contribute greatly mm -hmm. to toxic masculinity? Greatly, definitely not. Um, greatly, I definitely, definitely not. not. Ooh, um, right. I this think, is interesting. Yeah, I think uh -huh. from an asexual point of view, mm -hmm. everyone who feeds the idea of mm -hmm. what um, the generic look and feel and thought of masculinity looks like and feels like, mm -hmm. they are adding to the fire. Mm -hmm. So man, woman, dog, cat, mm -hmm. goat, if, if you're adding more to the fire than should be, uh -huh. if you're not adding anything positive, like they say, if you have nothing to say, don't say anything, don't say anything at all. I thought that was a Jamaican saying. No. Uh, that's everywhere? Um, that's at, at least the Caribbean. Yeah. That one I know. <laughs> that one I know. No, no, no. But um, at the end of the day, like you were saying, everybody has their different views on what masculinity looks like, what mm -hmm. it should feel like. And a lot of times it comes from those before you. Mm -hmm. So when you're raised, you see if you have a stable father figure in your house, mm -hmm. You see who your father is. You see how he treated your mother. If you come from a really good family, things like that. You watch your older brothers, your cousins, your uncles, and things like that. So then, um, both the good and bad experiences, by the way. So you realize that, oh, my dad is very caring, so I look for that in a man. And then you automatically think that any man, any male figure who is caring fits my idea of what masculine looks is. like. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. a lot of times you realize that what you realize you like also turns you on sexually. So then while you're looking for that, you're like, oh, cool. If you, for example, have an abusive uncle and you can see it from the, um, the eyes of someone standing by, of a bystander, then you realize, oh, I don't like this. So then if you look at a man, you find out this man has these tendencies, you realize that you would define what masculinity is mm -hmm. as a totally different thing altogether. So it's something that society, you realize it struggles with. Yeah, yeah, no one really definitely. understands what it really is. Mm -hmm. And that's why I say that, that's why sociologists say that masculinity... Uh, did you, did, did yeah. you do sociology? <laughs> no, no, no. I'm just using, I'm just using research <laughs> oh, papers. You're well that, read. Yes. <laughs> there, we go, there, yes, we yes, go, yes. there we go. There we go. There we go. I disclaim myself, I have no expertise in this whatsoever. I just, <laughs> yes. This just guy's a quick disclaimer. Research, research I said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This yeah. happens, this happens. No. Yeah, listen, guys, I, yeah. don't listen to me. Yes. <laughs> I'm no, I'm, I just, let me just disclaim myself very quickly. Uh -huh. So, yeah, um, regardless of who you are, what you do, your experiences shape who you think mm -hmm. um, a man looks like or should look like. Mm -hmm. And then anything other than that, you just blatantly pass by. Mm -hmm. Men, women, regardless. Kobe. Okay. We're not going to leave you out, my brother. We're never yeah, going to leave um, you out. Well, <laughs> I think, yes, to a great extent, women really do. Okay. You think to a great extent. Yes. He thinks to a lesser extent. You To an extent. To you an extent. Try. Yes. <laughs> to an extent. She's, yes, sir. She's the middle ground. Yes, okay, no, okay. All right. So it's a good... Yeah. It's a good uh, the reason being that, just like she, she mentioned earlier, mm -hmm. realize there are certain things or certain qualities they tend to look out for in mm -hmm. men. And mm -hmm. so if you do not meet that, okay, that uh, benchmark or mm -hmm. um, how do you call it, that um, qualities they are looking out for, mm -hmm. then that is a no-go area for you, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, the reason I'm saying that is I don't know what the ladies out there actually, you know, want. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it looks like they are indecisive. No, I, Today, no, we never know. That's that. the thing. We never know what yes. anybody wants, actually. Some years back, I'm sure our parents back at home, okay, mm -hmm. would not want to even go out with a man wearing beard or something. But today, that is what it is. Mm -hmm. If you are, you, you, how do you call it? You're, you're, you're a guy, you don't even have a strand of hair. Mm -hmm. I, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not sure any lady out there would even want to talk to <laughs> no, you. No, no, don't say that. No. <laughs> Oh, no, you're no guy. It's true. <laughs> no, don't say that. No, it is true. <laughs> don't say that. I'm right here. Oh, you like, you like, you like, man, man. Uh, yes, you, uh, you like bald. Anything. I'm coming. Oh, once, oh, there, anything. once there's, you know, that connection, it's fine. Once there's a connection, yeah. you're, you're you're fine. You're, yes, you're, I'm sure guy. maybe after this show, I'll, I'll trim everything else. Sweetie, and see I, if don't, you, 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 I don't. I don't mind. Hey, hey, hey! Yes. Wait, wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute. Hey, hey! Wait a minute. Some sexual What's going on here? Hey! No, no. Guys, guys, if you want to talk off here, please. Uh, at the break, you guys can talk off here, okay? <laughs> no problem. All right. <laughs> See, Go ahead. Yes, and also growing up, um, especially here in Ghana, mm -hmm. if you are coming from a, 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 a well-groomed you know, home, mm -hmm. you realize that your very first mentor, okay, in the case of guys, mm -hmm. is your dad, mm -hmm. okay? And so if you have a mother who always you know, gives you pieces of advice and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. She tells you maybe some of the things your dad is doing. Mm -hmm. Okay, take this, don't take that. Mm -hmm. Look at this, mm -hmm. decide, mm -hmm. I have to understand. And all that, 
And so for me, I think, yes, they do really have, you know, they make a great, imp um, how do you call it, input, okay? Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. uh, generally, guys are much more closer to their mothers than their dads. Uh, that's not it. necessarily true because I'm, okay, I'm much closer Ghana, to my dad think, than I am to generally, my mom. Generally, okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Guys are much more no closer to their, their okay. how do you call it? Yeah, mm -hmm. you know that's that is to obey the law of magnetism. Okay, mm -hmm. yes. So <coughs> hey, hey, I'm a professional. <laughs> hey, this, this guy, you're a scientist. <laughs> are you a scientist? Not at all. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> all right, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Okay. Mm -hmm. So yes, fine. Mm -hmm. You will definitely get them tell you mm -hmm. your mother, be it your um, how do you call it, your girlfriend or your spouse if you have any. Mm -hmm. Okay, they'll tell you this is what I want, and sometimes. You, you, you sit back and relax and you ask yourself, ah, so what at all is it that they want of you? Your mom is of one view, your lady out there is also of another view, uh -huh, telling uh -huh, you this. Uh -huh. And so, for me, I think, yes, uh, um, how do you call it? Masculinity is what it is because of, um, how do you call it, what the ladies... Because of how it is constructed at Preci home. Uh, precisely. Yeah, do, you, yeah, yeah. do you mind if I pitch in there? Go, go ahead, quick, yeah. quick, because we, we're going for a break soon. Let's get back from the break. Uh, all right, all right. So tell you what, guys, we're going to go for a break first. <laughs> This, this discussion is heating up, my friends. People here, they have a lot to say. Mm -hmm. So let's go for a break and then come back and we talk more about toxic masculinity. We still come. So we're back with our ex caves <laughs> in my cave and we're talking about toxic masculinity and we have some really heated we are having some really heated conversations here and we're going right back into it right so Jerome, you had something to say right before the break yes so tell us what is it i just had a quick question yes uh, go ahead Kobe. do you think that women will be able to teach um, their children what masculinity should look like mm -hmm. if men didn't portray it because um, you said they, they, they attribute um, greatly to what mm -hmm, toxic mm -hmm, masculinity yeah. looks like. So the question then becomes, if... If there's a single mom. Yeah, not even a single mom, but if you're in a, like your situation, like you said in your scenario, both parents there and then the mother is saying, look at this, this is what your father does, emulate it. Mm -hmm. Do you think that it is her fault or do you think it stems further back to the man? I think it's... Uh, it's the lady's fault. Okay. Whoa! Because, all right. Yes, all right. yes. Talk to me, because my at that point in time, she's the one actually coaching. Mm -hmm. Okay, the um, the poor boy in question. Okay. <laughs> all right, hold on. Pause. Pause. Time out. Because right now it sounds as if his dad says nothing to him. You understand? His dad is just a, 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 figure, a figure that comes in. <laughs> no, comes no, home, no. Sleep, we, are looking at if, we are looking at it from the point where I made mention of the fact that. Um, guys tend to be much more closer to their moms no their, understood their understood enough understood okay. but what you're saying is that the poor boy you said things like the poor boy and, oh. <laughs> and it's the lady's fault and blah 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 I didn't mean but, all that. hold on hold on hold on hold on let me talk so if there's a father figure in the house and he's allowing the mother figure to train this child to what to, to, to know what masculinity is how is it that it, it is the mother's fault and not the father's fault? He should step in at one point and say, hey, wait a minute. Let me take my son and I take him wherever I need to take him and I show him whatever I need to show him and teach him what it is to be a man. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, you know, fathers uh, would actually play a role when, say, maybe the, um, the, the boy is of age, okay, up to a point. <laughs> no. <laughs> No, I'm listening. I'm listening. Yes, listening. up to a point. Me. Okay, yeah. because generally mm -hmm. you would realize that fathers are so busy with their work, mm -hmm. their jobs, they are running up and down, mm -hmm. and the famous or the uh, common excuse you get them mm -hmm. give you is that I'm trying my best to put you know food on the table for All right, family. hold on, hold on, don't move, don't move, don't move. So now, can a man play the role of a house husband? Because you're saying, oh, dads have to go out and they have to fetch the money and they have to carry the home the food. What if a woman is, is the breadwinner of the family, yeah? And she brings home the bacon mm -hmm. and she says, hey, you, stay home. Take care of the kids, take care of the home. When I come home, I want my dinner on the table and all these things. Do you think a relationship can work like that? Uh, why not? Mm -hmm. it's, 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 it's possible. 
And so in the event where that doesn't work, mm -hmm. it becomes toxic. Mm -hmm. I have to understand. Okay. Yes. Uh -huh. If the woman is able to do that, what prevents me All right. from Natasha doing the same? Natasha is breathing heavily. <laughs> <laughs> Natasha is breathing heavily over here, my people. All right, Natasha, tell me what do you think about a situation like that. You are making the bread. Yes. And your husband is at home. Can he still be the head of the home? <laughs> Look at her face. She's so disgusted. What do you no. mean? Ew. Are you yeah, mad? What, okay, so I think I need you to, to like throw more light on being the head of the family. Head of the home. He makes the decisions. He makes the financial no, decisions. No, we've got to do it together. Okay, so, so you're the one making um, the, the money. You take home the money and mm -hmm. he's at home. He, he prepares food. He, you know that's equally a job? That's equally a job? Explain, Staying please. home, yes. Please explain that. So um, I can't really put it in quotes, but a research was carried out where um, roles were switched. Mm -hmm. If you're a typical house you know, wife, mm -hmm. you, roles were switched, mm -hmm. and the men had to stay home. Mm -hmm. If you have five kids, you have to cater for them, mm -hmm. bake them to school, mm -hmm. help them with their homework, cook, mm -hmm. you know, all that. Mm -hmm. And the end result was marvelous. <laughs> was marvelous. Oh Can yes. Tell me what the end result was. Some may say, I won't do this the next day. No, count me out. <laughs> yes, do it. Count me out. Because me for sure, I'm not staying home to clean. I, I do not like it. Oh, really? It's, exactly. It doesn't matter if I have a wife or if I'm single. I hire somebody, they come in, they clean and they leave. Okay. You understand? It don't matter to me. I don't like doing it. You understand? So mm -hmm. if I'm in a relationship like that I, and she tells me, hey, you have to stay home now. I say, baby, hey. No, 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 no. <laughs> but I think, I, I think it, it depends on the way she also goes about it. Uh -huh. I understand. Mm -hmm. Just imagine your spouse coming, your sweet, um, how do you call it, lovely wife coming. Hello, honey. Mm -hmm. Can you prepare <laughs> supper for us tonight? Mm -hmm. I understand. Yes. But just get her walk up front and tell you, hey, today the kitchen is yours. Like, who wanted to do that? So you know guys no. are able to do the same, and that's termed as being a man. So that's where, mm -hmm. like, it all boils down to, mm -hmm. uh, how do I put it? Who, who puts such, you know, statements in quotes, like being a man, mm -hmm. what to exhibit and stuff? Like, if a man can equally say that to a woman, mm -hmm. why can't I also say, can you, you know, do it? Oh, no, no because man, you didn't say it the way he said it. <laughs> As, as so why should a man... Say, hey, you, go and wash the plate. No, go. As a, man, no. as a man, I think you should be able to talk with some authority. Hey, you know? hey, hey, hey. Yes. <laughs> you chip in there? Yeah, man, of course. Chip in. Hold on. Chip in. Hold on. I want Jerome to chip in. Um, quick, quick. Wait, wait, wait. Which camera hold, am I on? Hold your point. Hold as point. the resident feminist, I would like to distance myself from Kobe's yes. previous <laughs> statements. Oh, you're a feminist. <laughs> yes. Um, <laughs> but Nisha, I feel that, like uh, how people say um, women belong in the kitchen, whoever is hungry belongs in the kitchen. Yes. Whoever's house is dirty belongs with a vacuum what, or whatever. But is the two on a house? Is, exactly. Uh, oh, I mean, it's both of your, yeah, your no, house. I get you. I get <laughs> I you. I just man. chipped I in you. my, my Jamaica. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yes. it, so mm -hmm. first and foremost, um, regardless of who you are, you're not going to talk to me that way. You're mm -hmm. not going to demand exactly. anything. Mm -hmm. Definitely, it becomes a conversation. And mm -hmm. I totally believe in the 50-50 household mm -hmm. with both making um, the decisions regardless of what it is. Mm -hmm. Obviously, you would realize that, it's, even in relationships, it doesn't even have to be a marriage. Mm -hmm. yeah. In relationships, you realize that um, you learn how to deal with the opposite sex even better. Mm -hmm. So you train yourself on how to, um, how to talk, how mm -hmm. to communicate, how to be able to show respect and ask for it in return without being toxic. But Jerome, do, yeah. you think, do, you, do you think a 50-50 household yeah. can really work? I do believe so. Why? Um, just because, one, like you said, you don't like cleaning. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So in a household where you know where the partners know what's going on. What if she doesn't like cleaning too? So then get a cleaning lady. Okay, all right. Exactly. <laughs> get, so at the end of the day, you shouldn't demand anything yeah. from anyone that they don't want to do. Mm -hmm. And definitely there are scenarios where it's um, exorbitant. It doesn't make sense whatsoever. Mm -hmm. And that's where you have to realize that's even a further conversation. Why did you choose this person? Why did yeah, you but, choose but, to get into this? Yeah, but you see, it's widely believed yeah. that a household that has a, a, a head uh -huh. and a supportive role yeah. is the one that works so, best. Yes. So Dan I think that fluctuates. Huh? Than partnership? Yeah, yeah. Than so, a 50-50. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the reason I say that is because I believe it fluctuates. Mm -hmm. some, days at the, some days it changes. Mm -hmm. So if I think that, oh, we're going to the kids' play, for mm -hmm. example, I know that, for example, my wife has been more... 
um, delved into the school matters and deals with the teachers more and things so like that. So you don't want so she takes go. No, 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 no. I'm fully, you don't I'm want not, to go. I'm fully invested. I'm totally fully invested. Let's not put that out there now. But no. Um, but then you realize that the man takes a bit of a backseat. And it's just like right now, we, are all, we all have different points mm -hmm. and we're all listening to be able to understand mm -hmm. not just how to respond, mm -hmm. but to be able to learn something on your own at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. So I find that that even though it's not always 50-50, sometimes it's 70-30, sometimes it's 100-0, but then that's exactly... When is it 100 -0? No, not all the time. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> it fluctuates now and again. For example, if, I'm, for example, if um, I am unable to work, okay. for example, I'm unable to, for whatever reason, God forbid, I am incapacitated and mm -hmm. I cannot um, provide, mm -hmm. I cannot guide, I cannot add support. Mm -hmm. I am currently at that zero. Mm -hmm. My wife takes control one time, okay. and not All right, fair, uh, yeah, fair. not a toxic control, mm -hmm. but in a control exactly. where you know that don't worry about it. I've got you. Let's mm -hmm. go. So that. So you um, you know yeah yeah go ahead. Yeah, go so ahead. how yeah. sure how sure are you that at that point in time, she would come to terms with you, and you know agree with you that yes, um, I've <laughs> got good, you. That's a very good question. And so let's <laughs> go on. I've got you in what sense? If you don't mind giving me a bit more information. Oh, no, I just, I just borrowed your words. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, so, yes, that's what you said. Yes. And um, how do you call it? With the 100 zero um, yes, sort yes, of thing. Yes, yes, yes. I'm, I'm, yes. I'm saying, how sure are you that, that she's uh, corporate? She's not going to, yeah, she's going to be corporate at that point. Corporate time. She's not going to, yeah. you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Circumstances wouldn't get her change towards you. Mm -hmm. That's human nature at the end of the day. But then th that's a lot of times why people say courtship is so important. Don't put yourself in a situation with someone that you can't rely on, that you can't trust. No, but I mean, my, my dad told me once that relationships are built on false premises. Yeah. And that's the fact. And that's people the toxic. People put their best foot forward. Yeah. Yes. And then their bad foot comes. Yeah. After. <laughs> you know, After. That's, <laughs> no, nothing against your dad whatsoever, but that <laughs> is a definite, dated thinking, um, form of, th train oh, no, of no, no, thought. No, no, no. The, reason, the reason I say that is because as time goes along, as people grow, as times change, mm -hmm. people are willing to accept more. People mm -hmm. are willing to understand more. People are willing to speak out when something's wrong. Mm -hmm. So what my grandparents thought, my grandmother had 13 children. Why? I'm not having... <laughs> I'm eggs, kidding, I'm eggs. kidding. No, 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 but that's the right, that's the right answer. <laughs> Why? <laughs> At the end of the day, she had a, a business, her own business. Um, she had... 13 children to raise. Right now, the oldest is almost 70. Yeah. The youngest is, in, is 35. 35 hey. year span. Hey! And oh, then, whoa, 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 she. <laughs> <laughs> but then at the end of the day, she, was, uh, she wasn't even asked. She was, kids were churned out of her. Let's put it that way. Like a machine. Kids were churned out of her over and over. But then that has changed. I am not fathering 13 children. Why not? I'm not going to ask anyone to do that. Why would you? Maybe, maybe why would you, you want, father you 13 children? No. Hold on. Pardon? Why would you want no, no, to father no, no. 13 children? Um, one, at the end of the day, that I don't have, honestly, I don't have love for 13 children. You don't have love for 13 Thir children? Yes. Because love has no limit. <laughs> you would think so until you have 13 children. <laughs> <laughs> but, your wife yeah. does. And that's fine. So then that becomes a conversation mm -hmm. to understand both sides and realize, okay, compromise. Because that's exactly what a relationship is. Mm -hmm. I am adding somebody who I have not grown up with, who doesn't know my idiosyncrasies mm -hmm. and vice versa, mm -hmm. who I am now learning about. Mm -hmm. And that I ha now I have the opportunity to live and to love with. Mm -hmm. But then we definitely won't see eye to eye on things. Mm -hmm. Definitely we won't understand each other all the time. But at the end of the day, the governing principle of love trust, respect should still be there. Just because I'm no longer in favor with you or you're in favor with me, mm -hmm. doesn't mean that I should no longer treat you with that respect. Mm. Doesn't mean that I shouldn't treat you with that love. Just because we don't see eye to eye, doesn't make you less of a woman, doesn't make you less of an independent person, mm -hmm. doesn't make you less of you. Mm -hmm. it, I, my, my, my understanding of who you are mm -hmm. doesn't change who you should be True. at the end of the day. True. Yeah. True. So, all right, I go ask you. I go ask Natasha this question first. Natasha, do you think that toxic masculinity is prevalent in the Ghanaian society? Yes. 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 Well, tell me, what do you see? What, what what kind of experiences have you had with toxic masculinity in the Ghanaian society? The controlling nature. The controlling nature. All right. First, yeah. uh, first things first. You know, we, before you move from there, you said you are controlling. You said you are controlling. Way. You know. Eh? In a, po in a I, positive I, yeah, way. I like to see things it's get done. A PS4. <laughs> so if I have to, I like to see things get done. So if I have to, you know, add force to it and make sure, you know, we achieve what we want to, yes, then I see it to be controlling in a way, not in a negative way. Okay, so tell me, tell me what kind of um, toxic masculinity you've experienced in the Ghanaian society. 
Um, so I quite remember I was trying to have a conversation with a guy mm -hmm. about um, um, understanding a partner, mm -hmm. you know, talking, striking out differences and coming to a common ground. And his response was, he, he put it to the Bible, you mm. know, that um, it's written, <laughs> women are to and respect. It was written. <laughs> women are to respect men, hey. and men are to love women. Period. What what um, what, what, what what verse? What verse? I don't know. Please, I'll find it. I have to. <laughs> I and I'm like, mm -hmm. can we go beyond what was written in the Bible and talk like reason out as humans, like uh, two thousand years ago? Yes. <laughs> and he said, it's period. It's written. You are just to respect me. You have no business in loving me. That's why he, that's how he put it. You have no business in loving me. Just respect me, and I will wow, give you wow, all wow, the love. Wow, 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 wow. So, is it, so you're just to fear him, and nothing else. Yes. Yeah, so <laughs> later on, I asked. So uh, respect in the sense mm -hmm. that you asked me to go and kill my mother. I don't have the right to question you. What's the reason? Out of respect, I just get up and go kill my of mom. Of course. Like, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> like, I'm He's kidding. kidding. But, but the guy probably is. The, yeah, yeah, no, yeah, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. the guy is not kidding. Yes. The guy is not kidding. The guy is not kidding at all. Do, do you guys see? Oh, listen. All right. So we're going to stick up. We're going to stick up in again. And we're going to have to go for another break. And when we come back, we continue our discussion on toxic masculinity. Hmm. Guys, we'll be back soon. Stay with us. All right, so we are back with X Cave, and you are in my cave, and we are back with toxic masculinity. It's a heated conversation, and we're not done. We're going to give you our final thoughts, and the last question we have is, are men allowed to cry? Jerome, you first. 30 yes, seconds. Definitely. Yeah? Period. Yeah? Period. All right. What do you think? <laughs> yes, they are humans, and they have emotions. Mm -hmm. Why not cry? You have to. What do you think? Oh, yes, because we also have, we really do have emotions, and we also get hurt as and when, you know, um, we, we get people step on our, on our toes. So mm -hmm. yes, we must do, um, cry. We must of course, cry. Yeah. of course, of course. I believe men must cry. Men have to cry. What are you saying? I cried when I was leaving Jamaica. I cried for my kids all. So, <laughs> guys, guys, this is it for X Cave. You're in my cave and join me in my cave next week when we talk about some more things. Join in on the conversation using the hashtag X Cave and tag us MX24GH on all our social media platforms. Join in our conversations and join us next week. I'll see you guys. Bless up. Little more.